Hello, I'm Mr. Nichols. I'm an English faculty member at Parrish Junior College, and today I'm going to be trying to teach you how to use Dragon Mail. Dragon Mail is a email that we have particular to Parrish Junior College. You'll get an email address as soon as you sign up for classes, and this happens at a lot of uh, colleges, uh, local universities like Tamu Commerce. They have Leo Mail named after their line, and we have Dragon Mail. Uh, so you'll be assigned an email address immediately. Now. I recognize that not everybody knows how to use Dragon Mail, so that's what I wanted to show you today, as well as knowing that people often won't check their Dragon Mail as regularly as maybe the one that they automatically have configured to come to their phone, their personal email address, I'm going to show you how to forward all Dragon Mail to a personal email address. So what we'll do is we'll get started today uh, by going to search for, as I imagine most people do, Parish Junior College. And you could also type in the web bar up there, which is what I always prefer to do the exact address you see here instead of just always having to click. And I actually like to favorite any websites that I use frequently. You can see the star here in the corner um, because that means that every time I type it, it comes up automatically. To go to Dragon Mail, what you need to do is first click Online Internet Courses. And don't click anything down here, but just go to the top item on the list over here about Dragon Mail. It's going to explain to you exactly what Dragon Mail is and how to find out what your address would be. So we have one here that's Barbara Jones as the example. And what she would do is find the first initial and her last name, so B. Jones, then the first four digits of her student ID number, which is 8574. Uh, and then it's at dragons.parishjc.edu. I know you're used to clicking, but don't click here because that will track, make you try to send an email to that address. And what you're going to want to do instead is click on this gray bar that says log in now to Dragon Mail. So what I'm going to do is type in the email address as it told me to make it. So the first initial of my first name, then my last name, then my first four digits of my student ID, and the dragons.parishjc.edu. And after I've done that, I'm going to hit enter for or next, either way. And then I'm going to type in my password, which is my eight-digit birth date. So in this case, she has a birth date that's got you know, a month, a year, or a month, a day, and then a year. So you're going to do your eight-digit birth date. Two for the month, two for the day, four for the year. Enter. That will take me in here. It might ask you some questions like recovery phone, recovery email, and you're welcome to do that if you like. I'm just showing you right now, so I don't have to do that. But it's going to load up my email address, and I, you might have noticed that the email address does not end in dragons.parishjc.edu, and I just didn't have access to that email address for that uh, fake student. So uh, what I've done instead is to um, you know, create another Gmail address that I could use to show you this. But once you get here, it's going to be the same for every single person because it's sponsored by Gmail, the Dragon Mail is. So what you want to do is you can check all your email here. You can sign in the way we just did every single time. But my suggestion, at least immediately, would be to go over here to the settings button, click it, and go down to where it says settings in the menu, and click that. Now there's a lot of different options you can have for your email here. I've never messed with any of them. The only one I ever really messed with is right up here where it says forwarding and pop IMAP. And what you can do is you can say that you want to add a forwarding address. And so I'm going to do that now. And I'm actually going to use my teacher email address, my faculty email address because it doesn't really matter for this. I mean, you all know I'm a faculty member here, and there's nothing wrong with you knowing my email address for questions. So I'm going to hit Next, and it's going to say, okay, we're going to forward mail to this address. Is that okay? And I'm going to say, yes, proceed. And it says a confirmation code has been sent to C. Nichols at Parish JC to verify permission. And I say, okay. So what I have to do now is I'm probably going to open another window here. And I'm going to go log into wherever your personal email address is that you need to go to. Um, to verify that that's okay. And it looks like I do have an email here from Gmail, and it's going to ask me to click a link to verify. It says, please confirm forwarding mail of MDO to C. Nichols at parishjc.edu. I'm going to go ahead and confirm that. That's a confirmation success. So I'm now going to go back over to settings, and once I've done that, I believe if I hit refresh, so let's see, you can right click and then hit reload, it now has the option to uh, my forward a copy of incoming mail to my personal email address 
And I'm always going to say to keep Gmail's copy in the inbox because it's not like it's taking up a lot of space. And any official emails that you receive from Parish Junior College, which all come to Dragon Mail, um, there's nothing wrong with keeping it in two places at once. So what I want to do is make sure that there's there's something else you have to do is it doesn't automatically select this. It allows you to, but you need to click this button that says forward a copy of incoming mail. Um, that means that every single time an email comes here, I will receive it. So what I can do now is I can save the changes and I can quickly uh, test this by composing an email to myself. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to type my email address again at dragons.parisjc.edu and I like to always title my test emails test number one checking email forwarding and so test number one will always be the subject or will be the subject and the text so text within email it doesn't matter what you put on yours I just always put something that says something along the lines of test and I send and so what I should see is that I'm going to have the email come pretty instantaneously to this address, and there it is. But I want to go check my email forwarding address. So what I'm going to do is go back to this other window, go back to my email window, and I could probably close this confirmation window here. But I'm going to push refresh mail, and as I can see here, when the email sent to that address, it immediately sent right back here. I can check that, verify that it's a test, and that worked. Another thing I can do is I can just, to double check it, compose an email from my personal address to that address and pretend, like I said, that it ends in dragons, dragons.parisjc.edu, not Gmail, but test number two from personal email. I'm going to say test number two body not subject. See, so yeah, it's different words than I put the other time, doesn't matter. So I'm going to say mdo1120 at gmail.com. I'm going to hit send. I can go back over here and check the Gmail, see if it arrived. It immediately arrived. I didn't even have to hit refresh. If I go back over to this email, I don't know if it's done it that fast, but I'll check. There it is. So now I've verified the test that I can send email. Anytime any email now will come, to my Dragon Mail account. It will be forwarded directly to my personal email, and so I don't really have to, I mean, I can check the Gmail account, the Dragon Mail account, uh, anytime that I want, um, if I just want to get involved with that one directly. Uh, and also, there's nothing wrong with checking just to make sure, in case something did slip through the cracks, that an email came and did not forward on accident, uh, that you were able to head that off at the pass. So that is how you log into your Dragon Mail account, as well as how you set up forwarding to your personal account. I hope that this was informative, and I wish you best luck at Parish Junior College.